let's see how to perform a mass delete action on records using the script or in the ui itself so i'm going to perform a mass delete action on the sales orders in order to arrive to the space navigate to transactions sales enter sales order and then just click on list as of now in this list of sales order we don't have any option to delete we can just have an option of edit and view in order to have the option for delete i'm going to navigate to setup company enable features and in enable features i'm going to click on the company tab and then if i just search for data management so here i have a data management section under this section we have an option of inline editing i'm going to check this checkbox and i'm going to save this once you have successfully saved the enable feature just go back to the list of sales orders and just refresh the same list of sales orders now you should be able to see a edit option now if you just toggle this you won't see any kind of pencil icon here the moment i enable this edit you should be able to see an pencil icon right now if you see there are few fields which are available for this inline editing so these are all called as inline editing now i can just update this memo value wherever i want now on the left hand side now you can see that there is a new option which also shows you to create new contact new even new case and also an option of delete record so as of now if i just click delete record on this the second row of this list will be deleted so in this list of sales orders i want to delete a few sales orders in a bulk so i'm going to hold on to my control key and i'm going to select the record which is next to this pencil icon column so i'm going to select this particular record and then if i just keep on holding my control key and if i just select these records you can just see these records being selected which can be identified by these dotted lines and as of now i selected around four records and i can delete all these four records on the other hand if you hold on to shift key and if you start pressing any of the fields now as of now if you see i have just selected the first row and it got deselected with the below lines now if i have to select anything in the bottom let's say i want to select this one the ui creation you can see that it has selected starting from this 2210 till ui creation on a bulk around seven records it has selected so if i just want to increase more i can just select on the bottom it just keeps on increasing so as of now i selected few records and as i mentioned either you can click delete so when you click delete button you can see a pop up all selected records will be deleted or you sure you want to continue as of now i'm going to click cancel i is just going to try with this one so i'm going to mouse over on my a new option and i'm going to click delete record so as of now we have total count of 170 and i have selected around nine records to delete this so i'm going to click okay so it is going to delete in the back end so it is going to take some time to delete these records so it says one or more records you attempted to delete as child record that cannot be deleted that is fine i'm going to click okay so we can see that the count has been decreased to 162 so total in out of 10 it has deleted around eight records and remaining two records did not get deleted due to some dependencies the next option in it where we can uh, perform mass delete is using mass updates so i'm going to navigate to the list mass update and then i'm going to click on mass updates then if you see we have multiple options to perform mass updates or deletes so if i just expand for example customer support and service here i have an option of deleting cases in bulk so can i delete transaction records for example let's say sales order i can just see sales order but it does not have any option of deleting the sales orders in bulk so what we can do is we can make use of a script called as mass update script by default netshoot only provides very few records in order to perform mass delete so these are the available records starting from cases events files till sales team member in this case we can make use of mass update script in order to delete the sales orders in bulk so we will be using this particular mass update script and this is the code this is how it looks so i will be sharing you this particular link where you can copy this complete code and you can use it in your netshoot account this will work for any kind of record and it actually depends on the deployment on which record we do so for example if we copy this code completely and if you have any notepad or notepad plus plus you can just paste it there so once you paste in your notepad or notepad plus just save this file and make sure the type is set to javascript so you can just search for javascript here you can find that and provide some meaningful name for this particular file i'm going to name this as delete records in mass.js once you have successfully saved the js file upload it to your netshoot file cabinet folder called as script folder so i have created my custom folder called as script types 
and I have uploaded my file which is delete records in mass.js file. Now we're gonna create a script record for this and the script deployment. In order to do that, I'm gonna navigate to customization, scripting, scripts, and then I'm gonna click on new. Then here you have to select your file. So then click on create script record. Then provide some meaningful name and ID for the script record. And then just click save and deploy. So in order to delete the sales order, I'm going to apply this particular script deployment and a sales order record. So I'm going to type sales order and ID, I'm going to provide this. And in the end, I'm going to suffix with underscore SO. So it determines my sales order deployment. So I will leave the status as testing log level to debug, execute as role to current role. If you are using a different role other than administrator, and if you don't have permission to sales order record, make sure you set this to administrator role and then provide audience as all roles and then all employees and then just click save. So once you have saved successfully, navigate to list, mass update, and then just click on mass updates one more time. And then in the mass updates, if you just scroll down, you can see an option of custom updates. Once you scroll down, you can see there is a sales order section. We just deployed our script on this sales order. So that is the reason we can see there is delete records in bulk. So if you have to delete another transaction, let's say purchase order or something like that, you just need to deploy one more script deployment using the same script if you just click on deployments as of now we just have one deployment under sales order if you want to deployment or if you want to delete records of purchase order you just need to apply it on purchase order and then provide some id again by and then finally select all roles all employees and then save it so once you save this successfully just go back to your mass updates page and then refresh the current page and just expand your custom updates now you can see even it is appearing in purchase order now and also in sales orders so i'm gonna delete sales order so i'm gonna click delete records in bulk under sales order section and now it provides a title for action so i'm gonna rename this to and this is more of a save switch you just need to provide some filter criteria in order to filter your CSS where you have to delete your sales orders. So as of now, I'm going to hard code this with my internal ID of the sales order. If you just navigate to transaction sales and then if you just click on list, you should be able to find the list of sales orders. And here I can see the multiple internal IDs next to the sales orders. So let's say I'm going to delete 21966, 21965 and 21964. So I'm going to copy that internal ID and I'm going to just update the internal IDs here. So once you're done with the criteria, just have a preview of this particular mass update so that you will come to know which records you're going to delete. So since we are going to delete all, I'm going to leave it as default and just click perform update in order to trigger this mass update script manually. So I'm going to click perform update now. So there are three results as of now for us. It says your mass update has been completed and performed on three records. Let's go back to our list of sales orders. We just deleted 21965, 21964 and 66. It has total of 160 records as of now. If I just refresh this or if I just try to open this record which is 21965. The same goes for the another record as well. If I just go back to my sales order deployment of this particular script, I can see in, under the execution logs it has passed the internal ID 21964 and the record type sales order and it has deleted so and so records. If you would like to understand the code, in short, for each and every record in our results, it just performs the delete operation by passing the parameter type and the ID of the record and it performs the delete operation. If you would like to know more about this mass update script, you can just check out my mass update script video. If you feel this option takes long time, there is another option in order to delete the records in bulk. That is again using script, but we will not create all the script record and script deployment. So we can make use of this particular script and you can just copy the script and just go back to your notepad and paste it in the notepad. So here you can see there is array of IDs, which is all the sales order internal IDs. And here you can see the record type string value, which is sales order. So now if I just go back to Netsuite. So let's say I have opened the sales order in a view mode. And if I just uh, click on this plugin called as Netsuite Field Explorer, I can see the record type in a string value. That is the string which I have pasted in this particular record type field. And if it is a purchase order you are planning to delete, you can just update the string to purchase order. And the next is the list of internal IDs which you are supposed to delete. So if you, in order to get the list of internal IDs, I'll just go back to list of sales orders and I will just export this using a CSV or Excel file. 
So once you've exported the CSV file successfully, make sure that there's a column called as internal ID. And now I'm gonna concatenate this internal ID column with this formula where I'm gonna concat the first column which is my internal ID column with a comma. So I'm gonna concatenate the value with comma. Then I'm gonna click enter. Now if I just click control D, it's gonna paste the formula from the above. So if I just drag it till down, you can see all the internal IDs are being separated by comma. I'm just going to copy this list of internal IDs. And if I just go back to my notepad, I can just paste this internal IDs over here. Make sure to have the square brackets starting and ending. And we need this internal ID separated by comma. So I'm gonna paste this. Now I'm gonna copy this complete code. Go back to Netsuite. Just open any record, any sales order record or any transaction record in a view mode. Just click function F12 key. It will just open in the element section. Just click on this console. Then paste the code which I have shared. So out of this internal IDs, few things are already deleted in our previous code. Few things are yet to delete. So we're gonna check whether it's going to perform the operation or not. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just click enter. We are able to delete only two records, which is 21963 and 21962. And other record because we have already previously deleted those records using our mass update script, which are these three records. And the other record which we cannot delete is because that has a dependency with one or more transaction. That is the reason we are not able to delete that particular record. But other than that, we were able to delete two records successfully using this console. So I'll be sharing this both of this code, which is mass update script code and also the browser console script code in the description of this video and if you would like to know how this mass update script works what is this record module where can i find this record module and record or delete api please check out my other video which i have already uploaded which is mass update script